Hey, what's up everyone? We're playing some more Pal World. Today we're going to try to set up the best crude oil base possible. I think I found a good spot. We're going to go ahead and do it. Before that, we do need a few levels because I need to also unlock the sulfur and the coal farms, meaning I need to level up a little bit to do that. I'm just going to go out and catch pals. The catch limit has, or like the catch bonus has increased from 10 to 12, meaning go out and catch two of every Pokemon again to get another catch bonus. I'm going to do that super quickly. I'm not going to even do it on camera because it's the same old pals that we've been seeing. Super quick time lapse and we're going to jump into the new stuff. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and unlock both of these new farms, and let's just build them. All right, everyone, as you can see, I have built the sulfur farm here, and I have built two ore farms here. Um, I do not have the coal farms, only because I don't really need the coal. And I did actually AFK overnight, as you can see. Um, I've got my homies working. I didn't get as much as I thought I would overnight, surprisingly, but I definitely got enough. I think I got, like, how much did I get? Like, 2,000-something? Yeah, like 2,700. When, wait, actually, how much is left on these 100? Oh, actually, this has 1,000. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got way more than I thought it because I didn't even collect them. So, yeah, I got, like, a good three, 4,000, which, you know, that's pretty good. Okay, but I think it's time to get the new base rolling for that crude oil. If you guys remember, last, or like one or two videos ago, we built a small place right over here looking for the crude oil. We're going to move. Surprisingly, this new island, which was basically made for crude oil, is not the best place for the crude oil. All of these spots have usually two, but there's actually a spot in the world where you can have three oil rigs in one place. That's what we're going to go. It's not the safest of places, and it's definitely not the flattest of places, but it's got three, and that's what we want. Uh, let me grab, ma make sure this time I have enough for a pal box. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel right here to the Beach of Everlasting Sands. The place where we want to go should just be directly north of where we're looking right now. Yeah. Oh, I need to put my hot armor on. There we go. Also, I need to fix half of my tools. Hello? Yo! Hold on, hold on, hold on. That, was that a meteorite? Zave... What? What the crap is that? Yo, that's new. Okay. Ali Dude, alien pals? Say less. Okay, also, let me take the ring off, because I need to kill these guys, actually. Later. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Meteorite? Meteorite fragments? Yo, what? What is this? What? What does <clears throat> the meteorite do? Okay. Did I capture Syndicate Gunner? Oops. I didn't mean to catch a human. Uh, okay, well, hey, cool little side quest while we're doing this. Okay, cool. Um, so, we know we're going to be in the right place when we're completely, like, basically parallel with Astagon. And that's what we're looking for here. So, sadly, it is in the volcano vicinity. It's a little hot, so we'll need protection, but we're so late game at this point, it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, it's around here. It is around here. All right, everybody. Okay, we found it. We found it. Look at this. See, you can see one oil node right there, right there, and right there. There is three in a single spot. From what I've heard, this is the only or one of the only, I think that's been discovered so far, of places with three oil nodes. And... If you guys know anything about oil, I don't know if it's your first time. That's right, get in the water, dummy. Man, oil is, it takes a while to get, and you need a lot of it. So, getting a place with three oil uh, spots 
is kind of important. Even if the location sucks a little bit, we're, we're trying to min-max this oil, so. All right, let's go ahead and start. Who is still shooting? Dude, no shot, this guy is still fighting me. Can you stop, bro? Okay, here we go. All right, where should we build our pal box? I'm thinking probably up on this ledge here. And then that'll be close enough to all three. Like right right here actually sounds good. Let me get my water bottle out of the way. Alright, uh let's see, let's see. Pal box. We can put you right. What, right here? That looks good to me right there. Yo, Anubis, you wanna help me with a little bit of my building? Okay, so now we have that up and rolling. Can I see like my I want to see like the building radius i mean it'll be it'll be far enough oh and it seems like we also got a little ore here too hey guys uh we're under new management sorry under new management under new management okay so we got to start off with the essentials so we're gonna have people here working full time i guess we could build one of these stands for now so we can control them later now, this place is going to be focused on crude oil. So here's what we're going to need. We're going to need, obviously, the cr these crude oil extractors. We're also going to need some nice beds. And, oh, something that I haven't unlocked yet. If we go to technology, we need these large power generators. And we're going to need, like, four of these. Along with, like, six electric Pokemon here, basically, at all times. Uh, and yesterday, I did farm enough materials to try and build everything at once, actually. So, let's go ahead and fast travel back to normal base and just grab all the materials. I ha I should have all of the PAL metal ingots that I need. I actually bought 600 electric organs, which we're going to need for the electric thing. From if you like, if you guys need to know where to buy electric organs, yeah, right here. If you need to buy electric organs, you can go to the small settlement right here, and you can buy them from there. I think I stuck everything in here. Yeah. So for each crude oil, we're gonna need 50 circuit boards. So I have 150 here. We're also gonna need this for the um, the electric things. We're also the electric things also take 200 pal metal each so that's like the one thing i might actually run out of but i'm hoping i have enough is there any other pal metal in here no okay whoopsies the the rest of my pal metal is over here in this chest and at this point i might as well just bunker myself encumbered this whole time we've got a lot to carry might as well just do it all in one trip you know what i mean yeah oh okay hopefully that'll be enough pal metal, pal metal ingots I need 600 for the thing. Yeah, maybe I'll need like a little more. Okay, let's go ahead and move the pal box a little farther down. Maybe, yeah, like right, right here. Sounds good to me. All right, let's go ahead and build that. Um, let's go ahead and build a wooden chest. We can put that right here just for now. All right, pick up both of these. Go bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. You know, we could stick a lot of this stuff in there, to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. Now, it looks like our borders do extend to each of the nodes. Let's... Yep, okay, Anubis, you do your thing. All right, crude oil extractor. Right here. Does it matter, like, what how I put it on? I don't think it does. Let's put that right there. Uh, yeah, Anubis, can you help me? Oh, I forgot that each of these takes, like, an hour to build. So... You know what, maybe I should bring a few Anubises in to start building. Let's put the other oil extractor right here. Bang. Okay, so there's the three oil. Now, we do have to find a little bit of space to put the electric. I don't know, electric pylons, electric something, electric something. Um, let's go ahead and bring in a few Anubises. All right, let's go back to the base. We're going to build the beds and the food places last for now. Let me just try to find the best place for these pylons. 
I'm thinking right here, like this, basically in between these, this might be a good spot. All right, where is the electric generator? That's, okay, there we go. So we have enough for one right now, but I'm sure we could get enough for a couple more. Why don't we build this? I don't know how close it should be, but I think right here should probably be fine. There we go. All right, we're gonna need a little bit more pal metal. But, oh, yeah, we need a little more. Let's try to grab some stuff to make beds then. And maybe we'll make the, like, basically the rest area right here. And, obviously, we'll put the food right next to the electricity. Because that's where most of the pals are going to be doing their things. So, let's head back home again. And let's grab all of the materials for... I guess we, we should just make 15 beds at this point, right? I mean, we might not have 15 there, but we could always have, like, other things go. Because we'll only need 6 or 7 electricity. But we have if we have more PAL spots, we might as well use them and, like, I don't know, make, like, a crafting station and have some someone do something. You know what I mean? All right. I have everything in this box that I think that we need. Let's go ahead and grab it all. It's going to be a little heavy, but that's okay. This should be enough to build the beds along with the food boxes and um, some hot springs too. Because of course we want our homies to be comfortable. It's a little hot in this area, you know what I mean? We need them to be as comfortable as possible. And look at that, it looks like they've got all the building done already. These guys are nuts. Let's build a second chest just for the sake of ease here. I'll get done in about half a second with these guys. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Let's start building some beds. Might even have to clear out some of these trees. Okay, so this is where the border starts. Large pal bed. Okay, how... Okay, right there. We can... How... I mean, like, how far can we... Okay. Outside of base area starts, like, right here. So build one there. Let's build one... Right there. Need to move this tree. Oop, not my rifle. Actually, that's another thing. I need to work on getting some more ammo. I started making some more rockets, but now I need to start making some more actual um, rifle munition. Sadly, uh, as many of you guys noticed, like a few months ago when we were playing Cal World, or I don't even know how long it's been at this point, they got rid of the glitch where you can sell nails for a lot and then buy ammo for cheap. Sadly, I don't think nails sell for as much anymore. Which is a little bit of a shame, but it was also very broken. So I, you know, I understand. You guys want to build that one? You know, let's remove this tree real quick. This tree's also going to be a little... Did my pickaxes break? I think my pickaxes broke. Um, There we go. That works. Wasted a little bit of ammo. That's fine. But one... Oh, dude, you're in the way, bro. Move. Dude, I'm my mom. You guys have to stop getting in the way. Hey, isn't there like... Something you have to do? I don't actually don't think so. Here, let's... Oh yeah, I forgot I can lift and throw. Yay! Why don't we build that right here? And actually, we can scoot this bed away a little bit. Let's move you like closer over here. All right, so that should be all of our beds that we need. All right, we're back with some more wood. This time I brought more than enough. Just... Oh, Wait, seriously? Uh, there we go. A little a more than enough, just so we don't have to replace it. So, what else do we need to do? We've got the beds. Ooh, how about some comfort areas? Um, oh, no, I don't have any stone, bro. Why are you... All right, back to the new base again. And this time, I also brought some stone with me. Okay, now we should be all set. So, yeah, I want to build, like, a... What, like a high-quality spring... Over yonder? I don't know. Well, just like right here. And build one. I mean, how many of these do you think I'll need? I don't think I'll need a whole lot. Man, should I get some electric? Maybe I should get some electric Pokemon here right now. Just to start up the crude oil, right? I think that'd be smart. So electric. There we go. Uh, also, I need to get some food around here. 
So who would be, I mean, obviously these Ozerks are like the best. Let me take these Anubis people out. So the Ozerks are by far the best. Along with these Grizzbolts, they're pretty good. So that's, that's six. I think the Relaxus horse is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, screw it. Anything that is good at electric will, will stick in here. Anyone else like really good electric? Okay. Well, these guys will be good for now. Oh, I forgot to put one of those. Uh, so yeah, the monitoring stands back. Why don't we put that like... What are you doing? I get... Oh. I guess only a certain amount of people can be at one electric pylon. I mean, that would almost make sense, right? So these other guys don't exactly know what they're meant to do. Um, let's just put this right here because it's the only place where it'll currently fit with this guy chilling. This guy's massive. Is that like a... That's like a boss, right? That's why it's so big. Cause that's like... Bigger than it should be. Ooh, you guys are all fierce, bro. Okay, we need to go back and get food along... You know what? We could build farm... That's another thing we should do is I should build farms here to make it a little bit more sustainable. So if I'm going to do that, I'm trying to think where would the best place to be to put a farm. I could potentially put farms... Like, right next to here. So, I'll put the three pylons and put the farms, like, right here. What do I need for those farms? Berry plants. Berry plants are good. Yeah, I'll just build a bunch of these berries. So, I just need some berry seeds. Okay, and while we grab the berry seeds, we should also grab the rest of that palmetto. I'm hoping we've got enough palmetto to smelt at least one more. Give the electric homie something to do. Real question is, where did I put my berry? Okay, so I do have enough. This is bringing like 46 with us. How is the metal going? Oh, the metal is going. That should be enough for one more. It'll be super nice. And then the getting 200 more pal metal will take a, uh, you know, it'll, that'll take a minute. So I'll, I'll have to be patient about that one. Maybe I'll even like AFK for a hot minute. Okay, so let's build the next generator. How close is too close? Is this... Oh, okay, I see the top kind of hits. There we go. Uh, we could put Anubis to roll. Get rolling on that one. Okay. I guess we can build... Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Ceiling lamp, no. Okay, the, the berries. Let's get the berries up and rolling. Berry plantation. All right. Can build. I mean, let's see. Where should we put it? I guess it doesn't particularly matter. Let's put one berry here. One berry here. Three berry plantations. Sounds about right. Um, let's bring a few Anubis in here again. Actually, I, I took them all away, but I should really put them back so they can build. Those last couple things. Okay. Are we are we doing the thing? Okay, we're doing the thing. We should also probably place some chests around here. Where they can put the berries. You can put them in here. You can also put them in here. There we go. Got the second electric pylon going. So, question. How many of these pumps are... I don't see. I don't think this has enough power, right? And not enough, not enough electricity. So we're co currently only. See, why are? Where's all my electric people? Why aren't we getting both of them going? Let me fix their works, work preferences. Yeah. So I need you guys on pure electric only. I don't need you guys carrying anything. I just need you guys doing electric things, please. Azerobes, you can just be watering. These Anubises. I mean, these Anubises, you can do whatever you want for all I care, to be honest. Battalias. Yeah, let's go ahead and have you just doing the farm stuff. No medicine. 
Yeah, you can carry some things too. Maybe just two of you carry, one of them don't. Okay. Where is my electric people? Okay, are you are you two doing this one? You two doing this one? Okay, good, good. We got two two going. And it looks like that second crude oil pump is rolling. We will need a third pylon, potentially even a fourth to get this one going. Hmm. Question. Do you think I should start building a wall around my base? I have a feeling I should. This is kind of like a weird, dangerous place. I don't want to be exposed. How, what are, how do you build walls again? Because I feel like we are definitely not moving from this spot considering we have three of these oil things. So I might as well hunker down, right? And just start building some walls too. Metal. Oh, we could build a metal foundation. But that requires ingots. Stone. Stone wall. Oh, it's defensive wall. Okay, we need one cement. Okay. So, oh, that's ten ingots. That's a lot. Okay, now we'll build the. We'll build these stone walls. Okay, we will need more cement though. Luckily, we. Oh, you know what's one thing I totally forgot to mention to you guys. That's super interesting. Before we, it was really hard to get pal fluid. We would basically, I showed you guys in an earlier video how to do it, where we would have to hunt down the pal m pals that had it as a drop and just killing them. Well, the Kelpsy Ignis, or no, just the Kelpsy, not the Ignis, now in the ranch actually drops pal fluid. So we no longer need to kill things for it. We just have this little guy producing, as you can see, pal fluid, which is really, really nice, which is, of course, used to make cement. Which I currently don't seem to have a whole lot made. Let me go to bed and I'll have maybe my Anubis make some of that cement. I think I might just go AFK for a hot minute here. I'm going to try to get 200 of the PAL metal done by the time I come back so we can build that third pylon. Oh guys, you know what we should build very quickly? How did I almost forget about this? But the electric pylon... Um, 100 ingots, 30 electric organs, and 20 circuit boards. Okay, we'll need, we'll need a few more of everything then. Hold on, let me get the stuff together for this, because, yeah, the electric pylon is kind of important. All right, where should we build the electric pylon? I don't think it really matters, so we'll just build it right here. Get my Anubis rolling on it. There we go, only 15 seconds, 10. Not too bad, and... What does this thing do again? Place one to improve electricity generating speed. Okay, cool. So hopefully we'll even have even better electricity. We'll get of. Uh, oh man, I need to go get some more Ozerks, don't I? I feel like I need to go get more more Ozerks. Man, this one hasn't even created a single crude oil yet. What about this? No, dude, not even a single crude oil. I need more more Ozerks for sure, because these, these Grisbolts are good, but I need more, like, uh, basically tier 4 electricity homies. Shoot. Okay, well, here's what we... Mm. I guess we just... We have to go hunt down more, I guess. How many balls do I have? I have a bunch of Ultra Spheres that I could use. Okay. Well, let me do this. Actually, um, I have enough stuff to build the walls. Maybe I could do that real quick and then go hunt them down. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to sleep. Let's build walls around the base. Then I'll go hunt some more Ozerks. Okay, we'll just build a small wall right there. I do want to have access to the ocean because I think that looks really cool. Um... Uh, Okay, I guess we could build a little bit more wall over here. Just a little bit. We're almost done with the wall, everyone. Just, it looks like two more. Bang, right there. Okay, so we're... Can I put, like, one more in there? I feel like that looks a little weird. Can I put one, like, right... Mm. No, I think that looks weird. Okay, that's fine. So we got a wall going from there all the way around to over here, so nothing kind of comes in from the back. Because I, I even had some of those, a few of those 
Finn Ignis has come through. Yeah, that should be good. Go around. We'll leave the beach open just because that beach is really nice. There's no reason to get rid of a perfectly nice beach. You know what I might do, though, is take some of those beds from out there and kind of bring them in a little bit. I'm going to build one bed right here. Let's see, where can I fit one right there? So that means we can get rid of two over here. Which two are being, like, super obstructive? Well, definitely these two, but kind of most of them are, to be honest. Okay, let's see if we can just build the wall around that one. I, I don't assume we can, but let's try. Alright, I guess we'll build the last bed right here. Alright, yeah, okay. We got really everything rolling. We've got the walls up. We've got the beds. We've got some chill stations. We've got... The three crude oil going. Um, I've got two electric generators. We will need to get a third. And I think the last thing I want to do is just go catch some more Ozerk. Because we'll need... I want to replace all these Grizz Bolts with Ozerks. Because Ozerks are much better. They're four instead of the three at their electricity, you know? Okay, everybody, I'm back. I caught a lot of new pals. Let me see if I could show you. Uh, yeah, look, I caught a whole bunch of Orzerks. I caught a whole bunch of more of the Blazes. Actually, a, quite a few Lylenes, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, so that should be enough electric-type pals to cover. I also smelted enough pal metal to get at least one more pylon going. I, I'm gonna I keep calling them pylons. I know they're, they're just electric generators, but for some reason I just can't help but say pylon. Let's go ahead and bring this pal metal over. We can build the last generator. We can bring in some Ozerks to permanently stay there. And we'll be all set. At this point, there's nothing for, more for me to do than kind of just play the game normally start maybe afking here at this base to get as much crude oil, crude oil going as possible uh, i'll show you a couple of other things that i did in the meanwhile um okay, let's just place that there i did place some chests ch ch why is that word so hard all of a sudden chests strategically around these uh these oil places so um the oil can be moved from there into here and i didn't realize but i actually do have some crude oil already running i i thought these just were taking forever i forgot that you know these pals carry them from there to chests so i do have a little bit of crude oil going let's go ahead and build this last large power generator now i should probably build a fourth but i think six ozerks along with an electric pylon man i i just have a hard time under like that has to be enough, right? That, like, has to be an... Is some... Where... Where did those come from? Oh. I totally forgot. Maybe I should build some walls over here. Let's try to get rid of these Lee's punks. See, I see, I can't have that happening. You guys are disturbing my workflow. Yeah, I can't have that happening. You guys get back to work. Are those wild grizz... Oh, no, those are my grizz bolts. Okay. Let's go ahead and build some walls here. Yeah, I can't have that happening. Um, shoot. This is, like, this is hard to build on. We build a wall right, right there. Another defensive wall right here. Alright, we'll, we'll kind of get it all the way to the shoreline. Where in the world are you going, bud? Yeah. All the way to the shoreline. Because we still have all of this beach over here. Yeah, I need you to move, buddy. Thank you. Okay, that should be enough. No least punk is walking in on this short of a space here. Okay, there we go. Finished it up. Um, Hey, does someone want to help me build this? That's still four minutes. Okay, let me get a few Anubises going. And actually, I might as well bring in the Ozerks, too. Okay, so let's get rid of... What are these? The Batalias... Let's get rid of these. Let's also get some of the new Lylenes in here, too. Yeah, let's see. 43. Let's 
Get that one in. Get that one in. Let's take out these Grizz Bolts. Also, hold on. Let me just quickly put down those Anubises. Go ahead and work on that for me. We got to find which one... Which one of these is the best Ozerks? I guess I didn't catch any with super, super great... Like, traits and stuff, but... That's fine. We can put that one in. He's level 44, 43, 45. That should be good. Um, 43 is good. Okay, so let's see. How many Ozerks do we currently have... Um, let's see. We have five. So, it might be a good idea to keep one extra Ozark around when another one is, like, resting, right? That would be a smart idea. Alright, are you guys almost done there? You guys are taking forever, huh? Okay. Why aren't these Anubises? Can you guys, can you guys like, help me out here for a minute? Where in the world are you guys going? All right, there we go. We've got the third power generator going. We could even assign some of these guys. Okay, let's get back to the... You know what? Why don't I sort by electricity and pal deck number? This might make it easier to find all of my Ozerks in line. Okay, we can probably get this guy going. And this guy going. Okay, so... Now we can actually assign them. It's like, oh, these guys, I want you guys just doing electricity. Yeah, just electricity. I don't need you guys doing anything else. That's the most important thing you can do in this base. All right, and we can do their fixed assignments. Put bang, bang. Which ones? Yeah, I want, and then those two. There we go. Okay, so now we should have two Orzerks at each of the generators. Is it? Okay, that one's going. 8%, 0. Okay, they're okay. They're getting charged up. I think all of the crude extractors are going. Okay. We should be good. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this base is kind of set. Let's triple check assignments. Because we did put a couple of new people in here. Um, th this this Lilene. Yeah, you can help with everything. Yeah, why not? You guys can help with everything. Cause there, there's no reason not to. Okay. Even carrying stuff. You know, they don't need to be farming 100% of the time. They can carry stuff while they're doing it, too. Really, I just need the electric people to really just stay on their business right now, you know? That's the real important part. All right, but I think, like, officially, the base is pretty much set. Obviously, there's minor ways we can improve. Okay, I picked this at the absolute worst time in the middle of the night to try to show off the base. Can I build, like, a quick bed for myself? Just so I could quickly sleep. Okay, let's get into the sky a little bit. And we can go ahead and take a look at the finalized new base. As you can see, I made a nice circle around it. So hopefully we don't get attacked by too many things. We have the three crude oil extractors with three uh, of the generators. The beds over here. Some comfort items right next to them. We even got a trash pile that we can dig through. Yeah, this is, I think, a pretty good base. I, uh, by far, uh, probably the best crude oil place, um, which is as far as, like, efficiency of getting stuff. And, like I said, th this base, like, it could be improved. You know, I could, instead of doing all of this farming, I could do the farming somewhere else and actually build, like, even, like, a refinery here with ore so I can get crude oil and ore going at the same time. Um, but, for now, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to just AFK here, grab as much oil as possible to get some of the new items, which we should also look at.